Another way to figure out the derivative of the inverse problems is like so. Uh, this is how they all go. Uh, they always say let g denote the inverse of x. They will give you a function and they'll want the derivative of the inverse at some given value of x. To figure this out, what you do is, uh, the better way to do this is to look at the um, geometric relationship between f and g. Uh, if f of x looks like so, then g of x must be a reflection of it about the line y equals x, as shown. And so what about the tangent lines here? Well, all right, first of all, if there's a point a comma b, say, on g of x, then that means that there must be the point b comma a on f of x. And then, just using geometry, we can examine the relationship between the slopes of the lines tangent to the curves at these points. It's a simple matter to see that the slope of that line and the slope of that line, since basically they just have the x's and y switched, the slopes of these two lines are reciprocals of one another. That is to say, g prime of a equals 1 over f prime of b. And so, to figure out what g prime of 7 is, see this is, this is an x value, we can do it if we know what this value of b is. See, 7 is like our a here. All right? So we need g prime of 7 equals 1 over f prime of some number b. Well, how do you figure out what b is? That's pretty easy. You look back at the graph here. Since a, b is on g, b, a must be on f. And so when you plug b into f, the result that you should get should be the original a value. So we originally, so we're talking 7 here, 7 here. From this you can conclude f of b must give you 7. So I have, uh, I'm going to work it out here. f of x equals this. What this says is that when we plug in the value of b, the value of b that we're looking for, we ought to get 7 out of f of x. So you simply set this equal to 7. And we get f of b. Uh, b cubed minus 2b plus 3 is 7. And at this point, you have to solve this equation. Since I already have it prepped, I know what the answer is. Uh, we don't have to mess around with um, actually going through the algebra. Uh, the only solution to this is b equals 2. Right? You plug it in, you get uh, 8 minus 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So b is, so b is 2 is a solution of this. Hence, we can come back here and say, all right, now we know that value of b. And so we say g prime of 7 is 1 over f prime of 2. So all we, we have to do is take f prime, 3x squared minus 2, plug in 2. x equals 2. And what do you get from that? Uh, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, minus 2 is 10. And so we got g prime of 7 equals 1 over f prime of 2, which equals 1 over 10. That's it.